Linebackers is my favorite position on this year's Cincinnati Bearcats football team, and I've got five bold predictions about them on today's episode. Our Locked On Bearcats, your daily podcast on the Cincinnati Bearcats, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And we thank you very much for making Lockdown Bearcats your first listen of every day. Today's episode is brought to you by LinkedIn. I'd like to thank LinkedIn Jobs for being the official college football recruiting sponsor across the Lockdown College Network. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the candidates you want to talk to faster. So post your job for free at linkedin.com slash lockdown college. Terms and conditions apply. Alex Frank here with you, your host, each and every day here on the Lockdown Bearcats podcast, former sports director of UC's student-run media organization, Bearcats Media, and bringing all of those experiences here to the Lockdown Bearcats podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our Lockdown Bearcats YouTube channel, which I last checked, we are up to 257 subscribers and counting. So hit that subscribe button, follow us to get an alert every time we drop a new episode. And on today's episode... We're previewing the linebackers group for the Cincinnati Bearcats. I've got five bold predictions. It's bold prediction Tuesday. I am really excited about this year's linebacking core. I really am. I really think that um, there's a lot of potential with these linebackers, with the players returning, and with the players who maybe haven't seen a lot of playing time just yet. But there are 13 linebackers in this room, seven hail from Cincinnati, and You've got a player who I think could be an All-American this year. You've got a player, you got his brother, who has oozing potential as well, the reigning Mid-American Conference Defensive Player of the Year, now taking his talents to Cincinnati in the American Athletic Conference. You've got a sixth-year player who had some big moments last year for the Cincinnati Bearcats, and you feel like it's just waiting for that breakout season. And then you've got some other players who haven't really seen the field a lot throughout their careers at Cincinnati, but you never know. This year could be that year, but I truly think that there is a definite sense of three starting linebackers. The Pace brothers, Deshaun and Ivan, and then Wilson Huber, who's that sixth-year veteran. But we can look at the um, Bearcats roster at linebackers, and you'll notice that there are not really outside of the three I just mentioned. It's kind of very similar to the defensive line. You don't really know what to expect outside of the big three. Yeah, you've got Ty Van Fossen. He's a good fourth. And then you got guys like Brody Angle, David Jones Jr., Yaheem Thomas, Ryan Hoyer, Devin Hightower, Jackson Bruschinelli. You've got a lot of players who could be starters, high-impact players eventually, but this group is definitely led by three key players. So without further ado, let's get to some bold predictions. We start with bold prediction number one, and that is Ivan Pace. Not Deshaun, Ivan will lead the team in tackles this season. I really think Ivan's got a great chance to do so. You want to know why? Yeah, Deshaun's your leading tackler this year, returning to 94 tackles last year, which was um, third on the team. But Ivan last year, 125 tackles. That's 10th in the nation. Heck, it's 30 more than his brother, over 30. NCAA records r- record tying six sacks in a win over Akron in 2019. Last year was Mid-American Defensive Player of the Year. From Pro Football Focus, all MAC first team honors after leading the conference, as I mentioned, in sacks and was 10th in the country. So you've got a player who has a nose for whoever has the football. And you're going to be facing a lot stiffer competition in the minimum in the American, excuse me, than you faced in the mid-American previously. And that is a no no disrespect to Deshaun, but you got to understand his brother is an elite tackler. 125 tackles last year in 12, 13 games. I mean, that's an average of over 10 per game. I mean, that's telling me that he is looking for the football. He is trying to take the ball away. He knows where the ball is going. His eyes are very good. So that's what I'm hoping to see at Cincinnati. Now, Deshaun was is the leading returning tackler on this team. I do believe if he's not first, he will be second for sure. I mean, I, I don't see him being any lower than second, to be honest. But I really think that it's a bold prediction to say that Ivan Pace, who has not played for the Bearcats yet, can come in to this program and make such an impact immediately that he is the leading tackler on the team. Now, 
Both Pace brothers are going to be very successful. They are to, no pun intended, set the pace of this team. They are going to be those kinds of players. So number two, second bold prediction is both Pace brothers will make the AAC postseason teams. Ivan might just make the second team because we really know a lot about him, but I think I think both Pace brothers could be on the first team the more I think about it. If Deshaun, he's getting recognition as, you know, second team All-American by Phil Steele. So if that's the case, it's going to be very interesting to see come the media days in the preseason, whether that's in July, August. But I think that Deshaun, I think both Pace brothers, you will see them on postseason teams in the American. I really, truly do. I really, truly believe that. They are that good of players. And it's so unique when you have a pair of brothers, like the Selleck brothers, but this time it's these two players, and the Selleck brothers were great, Garrett and Brent, but these two players, these two players have the opportunity to really be great for Cincinnati. They fit right into the defense. I think Mike Tressel is going to have an absolute field day with these guys on defense. You know, he's not only the defensive coordinator, but he's also the linebackers coach. So there's an advantage here. There's a really, really good advantage here that Cincinnati has going into this season. And I don't, I haven't studied all the teams in the American just yet. I mean, heck, it's only July 5th, but we'll definitely get to them once the season begins. But I, I don't think that there are, you know, many linebackers in this conference better than the Pace brothers. I mean, Deshaun last year's AAC honorable mention, he made that big sophomore leap. And I just think this year he's going to put it all together. And Ivan, we know what he can bring. I mean, he's played three seasons of college football with Miami. In fact, I believe he's played more than that. Uh, yeah, he's a senior, so he's played. Now he's played three seasons of college football. So this guy has experience, and he's coming to Cincinnati to really show what he's all about. I'm 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 ecstatic for to see this line this linebacker room led by the Pace brothers. I said to Sean was my favorite player on yesterday's show, and I and I still truly believe that, and I believe Ivan will step right in as well. Um, there's another player in on this year's linebacking core that we really haven't. Um, talked about a lot over the years, but I think we will this year from a veteran standpoint, a leadership standpoint. And I think this year he's going to break out. I'll tell you who that player is after a word from LinkedIn. As the sun comes out and small businesses are back in business, LinkedIn jobs make it easier to grow your team. That's because LinkedIn jobs helps you find the people you want to interview faster and for free. Create a free job post in minutes on LinkedIn Jobs to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network of over 810 million people. America doesn't even have half as many people living in the country. Then add your job in the purple hashtag hiring frame to your LinkedIn profile to spread the word that you're hiring so your network can help you find the right people to hire. Simple tools like screening questions make it easy to focus on candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to interview and hire. It's why small businesses are rate LinkedIn jobs number one in delivering quality hires versus leading competitors. LinkedIn jobs helps you find the candidates you want to talk to faster. Did you know that every week nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash lockdown college. That's linkedin.com slash lockdown college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Alex Frank back here with you, Locked On Bearcats, your host each and every day, talking about the UC linebackers for this season. So Wilson Huber is one of the most interesting players on this year's roster because he's entering his sixth season. He used his bonus season last year for eligibility, and he's coming back again this year. He was a red shirt, used his bonus season of eligibility, and now he's back for his sixth season with the team. Graduate student, he's got three letters from Indianapolis, and he, he just looks like a football player, right? He's 6'4", 242 pounds. He's been here for a long time. He played in all 13 games, yeah, in 2018, but that was on special teams and tight end. 2019, played in all 14 games, um, made his first start of his career at Ohio State, was a special team standout and reserve linebacker in 2020, played in eight games that season. Last year, played in all 14 games, had 15 tackles, four tackles for loss, three sacks, uh, recovered a fumble and a kickoff in Notre Dame, blocked a punt against SMU. He has had a really – he's kind of gotten better and better each season. Um, according to the sack on Bryce Young in the college football playoff, um, already has, has two degrees, his, bachelor, his bachelor's degree, his master's degree. So 
you're getting a really key player in terms of leadership and veteran presence. I'm excited to see what he can do this season. I think he's going to be the breakout player on this year's defense. I And I read something back in during the spring from Keith Jenkins of the Inquirer. When you talk about a player like Wilson Huber, he's filling in a huge void. I mean, he's filling a void left by Joel DeBlanco. He's filling a void left by MyJ Sanders. It's going to be really interesting to see how the Bearcats cover up that void because I think that they still have a lot of pass rushers at their disposal, right? Wilson Huber, one of them, Ty Van Fossen. But that is going to be, we talk about filling the voids of Sauce Gardner and Kobe Bryant and Desmond Ritter and the key players from last year's team. I think we're forgetting that last year's, Bear, the Bearcats last year, yeah, my J. Sanders had it down here because a lot of teams figured out how to block him. But also his presence there, the fact that he allowed other players to tee off, excuse me, and you saw the open lane. Ty Van Fossen last year started 9 of 13 games, had 70 tackles, 11 sacks came against Tulsa. He had three tackles for loss in a sack at South Florida. He was a special teams tackler in 2020, played in 13 games in 2019. He's been here a long time as well. Last year, he really, um, alongside Deshaun Pace, really took it up a notch. But he broke out last year. I think this year it's Wilson Huber's turn. Right, Van Fossen's going into his fifth season. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, you look around the linebackers and you look around the other key parts of the team. Yeah, you lost a lot from last year, but there's still a lot of there's still a lot of veteran experience on this team, a lot of talent. And that's why I'm excited to see this year's team play. I'm excited to watch, you know, Wilson Huber really take on a large role because, you know, as I've said, there are players on this year's team who are going to have to assume the role of, hey, when we get on the bus, we are the guys who are going to determine whether or not we win today. It's not like, hey, we just got to do our part and we're going to let the big dogs eat and you know, bring us home to victory. It's not, that's not how it is for this year's team. This year's team is guys who have been in smaller roles in the past are taking on larger roles. And that's why I think Wilson Huber has a real chance to break out this season. And I think his leadership alone, when we talk about who the emotional voice of this year's team is going to be right, when I think of a linebacker, I think of him as the emotional leader of the team. You think about guys over the years in college football and the NFL that I've seen since I started watching football in 2006, right? Your emotional leaders are linebackers. You think about guys like Ray Lewis. You know, I'm not saying Wilson Huber's Ray Lewis by any means, although he can be, you never know. But linebacker is the emotional leader of the team. That's what I think. And I think Wilson Huber's got those qualities in him. And I think Ty Van Fossen, just a veteran presence, kind of quiet guy. You don't really hear a lot about him, but he just goes out there and, you know, just plays football. 70 tackles last year in 14 games, five per game. That's that's pretty darn impressive. So you've got your you've got some four really good linebackers. Ivan, Deshaun, Wilson, Huber. I think Ivan gets more playing time than Huber, but I think when Wilson Huber's in, he's gonna get a, he's gonna be able to really set the tone and tie Van Fossen. See, we think this defense lost a lot last year. They also gained a lot. They're gonna gain Huber, they're gonna gain Ivan Pace, they're gonna gain Ty Van Fossen, they're gonna gain Noah Potter. They've got some talent on this defense. They're going to gain Malik Van Juwan Briggs and Jabari Taylor. They got a lot of players who they're going to get as gangs this year. Up next, so we think of linebackers as the emotional voice of the team, but do we think about them being the guys who cause turnovers? This group might have something different to say about that. I'll explain next. But first, a word from betonline.net because they are your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info find all of the latest sports developments league reviews and news including this year's nhl stanley cup playoffs which just concluded congratulations to the colorado avalanche and major league baseball bet online is your continued source for all your sporting wagering information including live betting esports and scores and betonline.net remains the best spot for all your sports scores podcasts and news this season betonline.net the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite sports and events including mma boxing and golf Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about the trends in action. Bet online where the game starts. So linebackers typically aren't the, the group that you think of causing, you know, the most turnovers, snagging the most interceptions. But I think this group will be that this year. Bold prediction number four, the linebackers will snag the most interceptions of any group on this defense. I really do. Deshaun had four last year. You've got Wilson Huber, who looks like he's got a nose for the football. Same with Ty Van Fossen. I think there's going to be opportunities for this linebacking group to cause the most turnovers. I also think, too, you have to remember that it's not just interceptions. It's forced fumbles. 
So you know what? Change that to they'll be the group that has the most turnovers caused on the team. I think their ability to get after the quarterback, I think their speed, I think their veteran leadership, I think their tackling abilities, they're going to cause some turnovers. You know, this sec it's funny because the secondary, I, I, I said earlier in the offseason that, yeah, there's talent there too returning, but at the same time, I can't, I don't really know what to expect. Linebackers, the guys who are going to start, I know are very good. If there's any position, not just on this defense, but on this roster entirely outside of tight end, you know who your starters are and you know they're good. Like that's a luxury that a lot of teams around college football, I don't know if they have that, but especially at the group of five level with Cincinnati, you've got your returning linebackers, a position that you didn't lose a lot of last year outside of Darian Beavers. And I think that's an easy plug and play with Huber or Van Fossen, whomever. You've got some serious potential with this group to cause turnovers. I mean, Deshaun had four interceptions last year by himself that led the team. Deshaun Pace led the team in interceptions last year. Who's to say he can't do that again? Because teams are going to go over the middle, right? Now, they might also target the outside because they're like, oh, Sauce and Kobe aren't here. We got this. But, you know, if your corners are shutting down the outside, they're going to go over the middle, and there are your playmakers. There are playmakers all over the field on this defense. But I just think the linebackers could be the group that snags the most intercep interceptions this season. So with all this talent, you have some players who I think could be potentially shooting up NFL draft boards this season. One of those players is Deshaun Pace. Ivan, maybe, because when you play in the Mid-American, you don't really get a lot of exposure. Now, coming to the American, to a, a, to a school like Cincinnati, who's just made the college football playoff and is going to the Big 12 next year, yeah, you're going to get more exposure. So Ivan could be that, but I think Deshaun mainly. So bold prediction number five, Deshaun Pace, yes, will shoot up NFL draft boards, but I think he's going to be back for 2023. There's been a common theme throughout the last few years with Cincinnati. Outside of Michael Warren and Sauce Gardner, a lot of players have come back when they could have gone pro. Desmond Ritter could have gone pro after 2020. You know, uh, Kobe Bryant could have gone pro after 2020. He came back. Guys like Josh Wiley and Leonard Taylor could have gone pro. Malik Van could have gone pro. Jabari Taylor could have gone pro. Uh, Javon Hicks could have gone pro. A lot of players could have gone professionally. Wilson Huber. But here they are, all of them back for their sixth season. You know, I think about all those players, and I'm, sure, and I'm sure there's more that I haven't mentioned, but a lot of players back for their sixth season. That is massive. I think Deshaun, I'm not, not, not six season. Some of them are back for their sixth, some for their fifth, some for their fourth. I think Deshaun is going to come back for his fourth season because as we've seen, you got to have three, at least two good seasons, but preferably three good seasons at Cincinnati right now to eventually say, okay, I can go to the NFL draft. Deshaun's had one good season. He's got to prove it again. And then I think he's going to want to play in the Big 12. I think he will. And that's why I think he will be back for his senior season in 2023 and when the Bearcats are in the Big 12. So there you have it. Five bold predictions for the Cincinnati Bearcats linebackers group. I'm excited. I'm really excited to watch this group play. We'll have much more on that on that group throughout the week. John Garcia Jr., the director of football recruiting, for sports illustrated will join me sometime this week uh tomorrow there is a very good chance um a very good chance that mo egger will be joining the show mo egger from espn 1530 my sports talk show hosting mentor he will be joining me on lockdown bearcast to talk about this year's linebackers talk about this year's team the makeup of it and of course you know how he thinks the bearcats stand in the conference realignment that is imminent and inevitable going to be a fun conversation looking forward to that maybe get russ Heltman back on the show which is becoming a weekly appearance but i'm okay with that he's my colleague at all bearcats check out my work at all bearcats.com uh, and sports illustrated looking forward to writing some articles this week on the linebackers for them and thank you for making lockdown bearcats your first listen of every day now for your second listen make it lockdown big 12 my good friend josh neighbors the host and local experts of lockdown take you across the big 12 in 30 minutes lockdown big 12 make it your second listen of the day as for me, you can follow me on Twitter at Frankie underscore Natty with two N's and an ATI. You can also follow me on Instagram, AlexFrank9 underscore, and email me at Alex3Frank at gmail.com. Don't forget, subscribe 
to the Lockdown Bearcats YouTube channel, up to 257 subscribers and counting. Follow us, too, so you can get an alert every time we drop a new episode. I'm Alex Frank for the Lockdown Bearcats podcast. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll be back tomorrow for another episode here, potentially with Mo Egger at the Lockdown Bearcats podcast. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.